everyone, I am Mecha Random 42 your favorite YouTube harpy, and there's a little bit of Doctor Who news, so I just want to cover this real quick before we, we get into the Doctor Who Christmas special, New Year's special. It's not, God, I'm, I'm just not even used to saying that. It's supposed to be the Christmas special. Every year we have a Christmas special. Nope, now we, we gotta go New Year's, so it's the New Year's special this year. Ah, that's another nitpick, but we'll, we'll get into that with the rant section, I think, because I think this is going to be a rant video. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Chinball calls Doctor Who's political stories fundamental. Really? You know what? Let, let's, let's take a definition. Let's take a look at the definition of fundamental here, shall we? So the, uh, the dictionary says fundamental is uh, forming a necessary base of core of central importance. Really? It's a, you, it's, it's, it's a necessary... It is a necessary base of core for central importance. Really? Because I don't think your audience r agrees with you, Chris Chimball, Chibdal, whatever. When, when we have scores like this, 94% critics liking it, most of the reviews are because it's a woman and, and because it's diverse and all that bullshit, which we know is just, it's just buzzwords for we're not allowed to say anything bad about it because we won't get early access to screeners and we won't get early access to the stars. And we might not get... Um, and, and it's not even that they won't get access. It's that they might not get access. Because a lot of these people are giving the, the false scores or, or the, the, oh my God, it's so diverse, are just people wishing. You know, they're, they're, the, they're, they're the star fuckers. They're the ones who want to get in good with these TV series so they can get the freebies. Nine times out of ten, they don't yet, but they want to. So they, they give the positive reviews because they think, oh, if I say something bad, they're not going to give me access. Anyway, let's get into the article. I'm kind of all over the place today, but man, this one, this one kind of made me upset. The latest season of Doctor Who, who, wait, what article is this? This is from io9. The latest season of Doctor Who has been breaking ground in a number of ways. Not only has it performed well in the ratings with the biggest season opening since the series reboot, um, yes, but there's many, many, many videos that said the ratings tanked immediately after and that you, you got the curiosity factor of people who are like, oh, new Doctor Who, here's the new Doctor, what are we going to do with it? Uh, it's also done a number of episodes focusing on p important social and political issues, much to the detriment of the audience who don't care about that shit. Showrunner Chris Chimball says this is vital as it reflects where we are today. Yes, if you're doing something that you're trying to win like a Pulitzer Prize for or you're trying to win, you know, awards for and, and not please a core audience of, you know, people who want a bunch of space battles and Daleks and Cybermen, you know. Maybe, maybe we want something else. We, maybe we don't want to be lectured at. I don't know. <laughs> at the screening of the New Year's Day episode, as reported by the Radio Times, Chimball discussed his decision to cover key social political issues, which, to be fair, isn't a new concept for the long-running sci-fi series. It's not. It's not. It's just we're, we're, we're kind of we're kind of past that. And as good as the episode Rosa was and, and even Demons of the Punjab, they were a little, they were a little underwhelming in a lot of ways. And I have reviewed every episode of this season, and I'm going to be talking about the New Year's special as well. Uh, I'm not really looking forward to it, but you know, you guys are, so we'll, we'll watch it for you. I'll watch it for you guys, we'll watch it together. Uh, see, it, it's centered around American and British institution of racism, as well as the witch finders, which examined sexism through the eyes of the doctor who'd only recently regenerated a woman. Actually, the witch finders was really more of a witch hunt episode rather than a gender. I mean, they could have made witches men if they really wanted to be equal and progressive. You know, you could have made some of the witches men. Just saying. Oh, but they don't like you calling them on on their actual lack of progressivism and their actual tokenism, these series. Because, you know, if they really want to be progressive, yeah, make, make the witch hunts everybody. Men can be witches, too. They're just mostly called warlocks. I think you want to be writing about the world that we live in. The show is not a standalone thing. It represents, uh, it's, it's a response to the times that we're living in and the world we're in, Shimbal says. When it comes to things that affect people's lives, I think particularly things that children and young adults are going through, that feels really important. Yes, but at the end of the day, it's also a science fiction show, and you can kind of represent things, and you can bring to people's attention things, but make it in an alien way. Make it in a way that we don't know. Look at what the Orville's doing. Just just go take a, take notes from what the Orville's doing. They, they, they handle diversity. They handle political topics, but they don't preach. They, they give you... 
an opportunity to discuss and to be curious and, and to say, well, God, is this really the right thing to do? I mean, morality versus what somebody else's culture beliefs, you know, who, who, who's to say what somebody else's culture, you know, who am I to judge what somebody else does in their culture? And that's one of the great things about the Orville that Doctor Who isn't really getting. And when I have to basically make a point to say, okay, this episode wasn't preachy on this this time, or this episode wasn't super diverse for no reason, you know, this didn't wasn't so heavy handed, that's kind of a problem with the entertainment industry as a whole. That that we have all of these these sort of these sort of false representation sort of sort of goals in the entertainment industry that they're more concerned about you know how many you know what that having a color of of every sort of having a representative of one of every color of the rainbow on the planet that's what i'm trying to say rather than telling good quality stories that make you think you know they're like oh we, we gotta have this quota we have that quota we have this tokenism and that tokenism and it's insulting it's insulting just to be broken down to my race gender sexual orientation that's that's not how you do it. It's really not. So a subset of viewers have complained that the series is focusing too much on social political issues nowadays, although it hasn't seemed to affect the ratings much. It also doesn't track with the series history as a whole. Not only does Doctor Who have a long history of tracking or tackling social issues or issues of social justice and discrimination, but uh, the character's whole MO. It's about living for the common good, fighting for the rights of people, and being everywhere. And beings everywhere. Yes, but... People aren't liking it. The audience is not liking it. If your average rating is a 1.8 out of 5, out of 4,000 people who bothered to to make a point to say, hey, this is, a, this is not that good of a show. We've got some real, we've got some real issues here. And, and I see this all the time. You see this on the Orville. You see this on all of these shows where the shows that the audience really, really loves are getting, you know, scores knocked out of the park. You know, they're getting nines out of tens and 94% audience scores. And then you have shows like Doctor Who or Star Trek Discovery where this is a little more accurate, you know, and, and, and I totally get it. I totally believe, you know, let, let's just click on what the audience score is. What, what is some of the audience, um, yeah, view all. Let, let's look at some of these. Season 11 of Doctor Who um, includes the worst writing, worst acting, and <laughs> worst imagination, and worst connection with the fan base ever. The New Year's special seems to be made to highlight all of the above. Oh, no, now I'm not looking forward to it. I haven't seen it yet. I haven't seen it yet. Ah, uh, this has to be the worst season of Doctor Who I've ever seen. If you can even call this Doctor Who, there are only two people to blame for this, Shambles. Chris Chimball for the god-awful writing and Jodie Whittaker for the bad acting and cringe faces. Oh, the faces she makes. That, those, the, the little... Yeah, all of her stupid faces. No, I don't like the faces. I think they're very juvenile, and it's fine if your audience are third grade, not even third graders, three-year-olds, toddlers. If your audience is toddlers, that's fine. You don't have an audience full of toddlers, though. A lot of the Doctor Who fan base are in their late teens, early 20s, and then there's some of us old-school Whovians. Back before, we were really called Whovians, I think. There's some of us old-school people who still love Tom Baker, who still love the old kind of corny... Low budget. I, I, I have such a soft spot for it. Tom Baker is my favorite doctor. Hands down. David Tennant is really close second. That to me is Doctor Who. That's how you, you modernize Doctor Who. And now we're kind of regressing into this. Oh, we need tokenism. We need to be about women. We need to be represented. No, no you don't. You really don't. And I, I keep seeing in comment sections everybody like canceling TV licenses because of this. So they're, yeah, it's it's not good. Jenny Wicker could not act. She tries her best um, by exaggerating all of her mouth movements but it comes across as a bad impression rather than actual acting. Wow. That's a little hard on her. I think she's probably all right. I don't think she's quite up to par as the Doctor after seeing her a season. I mean, she finally was sort of getting it a little bit towards the end. I don't know. I don't know, though. I don't know. <laughs> Series 11, what can I say? More like Scooby-Doo than Doctor Who. But that would do the former a disservice. Boring, self-righteous, claptrap. One of the best shows on TV. Now I'd rather watch paint dry. Yeah. 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 I, I totally hear you. I totally hear you. Um, I was initially thrilled to see Whitaker and Chimball, Chimball part of the new, part of the new Doctor, but unfortunately, it had turned into a sitcom a detective drama with a team that has lost the advantage and sparkle of previous Doctors. And the TARDIS, always an integral part of every story, has been left parked and grossly underused. Exactly, Jodie has 
uh, promised, Jody has promised, but the writing, well, it works for broad church is not working for me and the new doctor. This, this is, this is how this really sums up a lot of what I've been seeing. And I'm easy on the show because I am, a, I, I have such a low bar set because of stuff like Star Trek Discovery. I, but I can totally admit, I, I can see why you guys are not enjoying it that like at all. And a lot of you have stopped watching it. And, and for me, I mean, it's not the worst thing. It's not the worst thing on TV. But it's also really not. It's, it's really far from being good. It's really far from being good. <laughs> Bad writing, lost opportunities, not clever, inspired. Worst of all, you're ruining the first female doctor. Step it up. That's a perfect criticism. You know, that, that really sums up a lot. Because, yes, yes, you are ruining the first female doctor. You know, you, you have this huge responsibility and opportunity. And what are you doing? You're giving us the doctor who, who kind of looks like just another companion. And, and from what I'm hearing, they aren't even calling them companions anymore. I'm old school. I still call them assistants, but you know, so, sometimes when I'm like not really paying attention, I will still slip and call them assistants. What do you guys think of season 11 of Dr. Who? Do you, do you, do you really think that, that it's, it's fundamentally, you know, like important to do these stories. I don't think so. I, I think this really sums it up with, with your average viewer ratings and oh, oh my God, it's, it's just, it's so, it's, this, this really shows, this really shows to me how the audience is responding. And, and I know Rotten Tomatoes is full of bots, full of fake accounts, full of, full of computer programmed accounts and randomizing and, and, you know, anytime you see a name with a percentage in their name, then you know that that's a fake account. Like in the instance of she and sh just check out any of my old she videos also in, in this, uh, I probably will link them either. They'll suggest them in the end card or in the description or something. But yeah, th this stuff really, really, this says it all. Just the 24% for, for, and, and I know Rotten Tomatoes is bullshit, but, but sometimes it's good just as a quick glance number because we know we can't trust the critics. We know we can't. Ah, <sighs> lovely intentions, of, uh, but upon deeper inspection saying little. Yeah. And, and here, let me, let me move myself out of the way. We can read some of these critic scores. It's not, it's not good. It does not look good for Doctor Who that we're doing this. So Whitaker is perfectly cast and her immediate command of the Doctor's vocabulary and innate sense of wit is obvious. <gasps> no, no, she doesn't have, I mean, she, she can do the, the techno babble a bit, but no, she does not have the command of the Doctor. Not at all. She does not, she does not command respect, authority, any of that. She has twinges of it in the last episode that felt really shoehorned in. But no, she does not command respect. You, she, you're looking at, you know, when everybody has to say, oh, the that's the doctor. She's in charge for no reason other than, you know, okay, she's the doctor. She's in charge. That's a problem. That's kind of a huge issue for me. <laughs> doctor is for our age. Oh, and the, the age of idiocy, the age of idiocracy. Uh, let's see. I'm now too old for Time Lord's adventures. A great weariness that came upon me as she explained her sonic screwdriver to that charisma free new pals, but still I couldn't be more glad the doctor is a last girl. Fuck you, Rachel Cook. Fuck you. This is not a review. This is a I hate this show. I'm too old for it. But diversity, yay! Diversity. Fuck off. But of course, doctors arrive. She just made her market as each doctor does, but she's raised the bar. She, she's brilliant. Just brilliant. I, how? How is she brilliant? I mean, that's great that that's your opinion, but you're not really, you're, you're wrong. <laughs> you're absolutely wrong. <laughs> Uh, Whitaker is more cosmic, a cosmic de detective than a superhero, as you would expect, but in the best way, um, from the creator of Broadchurch. And that's one of the issues. It's too much of a detective story from what I'm seeing. Apparently a lot, a lot of the, a lot of the fans are not happy with that. The season has been marked by change, mostly for good. Some of that to the detriment of the overall package. So this seems like a, a, a rotten, this seems like a bad review. That said, these also the show's also gotten back to doing what does best, but with a new flair. I don't know. That seems that seems like a negative thing. Ugh, these critics. So, what do you think? Are the critics just absolutely out of their out of their freaking minds? Are, is the audience right on this one? I think th I'm I'm believing the audience on this one. I would probably give the show myself now that I've seen the entire thing and let it sit. Oh, probably about a four out of ten. And that, that is just because it was kind of boring. Some of the episodes were a slog to sit through. 
the doctor does not the doctor it doesn't give me chills it doesn't give me any nostalgia twinges you know we barely even see the tardis that being said the show's okay i mean there, there are some real stinkers though there are some episodes i will never watch again i don't think i'll watch most of these episodes maybe Witchfinder i might watch again most of these episodes i will never watch again and that is the huge mark of whether a show is any good or not. So what do you guys think? Are, are, what, what's your score? Would you give it maybe like a 4 out of 10, 0 out of 10, 10 out of 10? I know I've got one or two people who absolutely love the new Doctor Who. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Um, Happy New Year. I will be reviewing the New Year's special. Um, so I do have a, a channel update video that just went out. That will probably be linked in the end card. As always, I will see you guys on the next video or live stream. Bye! Thanks for watching! If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye!